Okay, hello everybody. I'm Dr. Jonathan Kleinjohn. I'm the extension agronomist for Eastern South Dakota based out of Brookings and uh, I'm also the director of the crop testing program here at the Northeast Farm uh, virtual tour this year. And the backdrop behind me I have uh, my spring wheat plots uh, and then over further to the west my oat plots. In addition to that uh, we test corn for grain and for silage up here, uh, both conventional corn and uh, herbicide tolerant corn and then we have soybeans uh, both conventional and herbicide tolerant soybeans Roundup Ready. In addition we have winter wheat plots uh, over here to the east so actually Northeast Farm is, is one of the farms where we do quite a bit of yield testing and uh, this yield data will be published this fall uh, as soon as it becomes available and published on the extension website so producers can have a, a good unbiased uh, picture of which varieties perform well in this area. Crops in South Dakota this year, I'd say overall look, look very good. We've had some areas, however, that were too wet and, and continue to get too much moisture, but uh, I believe we have potential for a pretty good corn crop, especially. Uh, soybeans are looking good in some areas too, uh, like I said, except where we've gotten too much rain. So uh, overall, uh, quite an improvement over last year when it was just very wet everywhere, and, and I hate to say that too much because I know there's some producers struggling with too much water this year, but, but overall, I think in South Dakota, the crops look better than they did a year ago. Uh, the recent heat we've had, I think, has taken the top end yield off uh, of some of the small grains, so it's the oats and the spring wheats. I think the winter wheat was far enough along uh, that it, it should be okay. Probably some pretty good yield potential in the winter wheat. I have had some producers tell me in the north central part of the state, like the Selby, uh, Gettysburg area, that they think they have the best small grain crop they've ever seen. So if the bad weather stays away and nothing else happens, uh, we should have some pretty good crops this year. Um, I'd also like to mention uh, behind me, we have my uh, small grain plots, we have spring wheat and oats, and at some various locations throughout the state I've posted a sign, and you can see uh, the sign here with a document box underneath. And if you visit the extension website, there's directions to the sites where these boxes are located, and you can walk through the plots on your own. The plots are staked, the first rep, and the handouts are there, so you can kind of do an open house tour on what we, we typically do in person. So I'd invite you to check out the extension website, see where those are located and visit them yourselves and in addition we will be having virtual tours that will be posted on YouTube where me and the breeders walk through the plots and, and kind of go through them like we typically do.